knees and heels together and feel the inner thighs and buttocks. One more and exhale. Beautiful. And relax the head down. Good. Now, some of you who are just beginning, remember, you don't have to take your legs out so much. You can bring your legs up a little higher. Put your feet down on the mat. Walk your feet out a little bit. Take your hands behind your legs. Take your chin to your chest and walk up the legs. That's it. That always, you need to always be in control of that, right? Until you know somebody's body. Scooch back a little bit more and stretch your legs. Good. Open the legs. This is spine stretch forward. The key to a C-curve. A C-curve is not a contraction. A C-curve is a lift. So not easy to feel in the body right away. But again, don't be frustrated. It's a process. And it's nice just to even if you can't feel that lift, just to curve the body and exhale, just curve normal. Good. And inhale and sit up tall. So if we're just doing beginners first time, I wouldn't really dwell and get into this too much. And beginners, if you're doing this, just try to feel your tummy pulling in as you drop the head and round forward. Good. So let's think of now rolling back on your tailbone and reaching your body forward. And imagine my arm around your waist and you're pulling away from me. So pull away from me this way. There. So now you have a C curve in the back. Do you see that? Do you feel it? Good. And sit up tall. Exhale and reach the body forward. Try to get your head down a little bit more. And inhale and up. Good. Again, inhale, reach long.